With the World Cup now in full swing, we can only expect injuries to come thick and fast, but not many people expected there to be some big injury calls before the first ball had even been kicked. Senegal were without their star talisman Sadio Mane after he picked up a knee injury for Bayern Munich that he was unable to recover from. Senegal lost that game 2-0 against the Netherlands, a scoreline that may have been different with that extra bit of firepower. Karim Benzema has also been ruled out of the tournament for France after picking up a thigh injury in his first training session out in Qatar. Benzema will be the first Ballon d'Or winner to not play in the World Cup for 44 years. France will now have to reevaluate their strike options ahead of their game against Australia later tonight. There has also been a lot of controversy regarding the World Cup both on and off the pitch. A big talking point has been that of the captain's armband. With England, Wales and a handful of European nations backing away from wearing the One Love armband, ex-England international Alex Scott was seen presenting on the touchline wearing the exact armband Harry Kane and Gareth Bale wouldn't be wearing. Alex has received nothing but praise on social media following a brave stand against FIFA. And finally, Jack Grealish has been making the headlines after England's emphatic 6-2 win over Iran yesterday afternoon. Grealish scored England's sixth goal of the game, being one of five different goal scorers for the night. After scoring, Grealish celebrated by keeping a promise he made to a young fan back at home. Jack met Finlay, a Manchester City fan with cerebral palsy, and said that the next time he scored, he'd do Finlay's celebration just for him. Do you want to do this? Yeah. All right, I'll do that for you, all right? All right. I promise. But remember, I've next got to score, score, though. Next I've, time Next score. time I score, yeah? All right, then. But I'll do that for you. It just happens to be that Grealish's next goal was his first in the World Cup, of what England fans hope to be many.